Well, it's looking that more and more people in the population could benefit. So not just the clinical populations with heart disease. What some of the research we're doing looks potentially at people with lung disease, people with kidney disease, people with peripheral vascular disease, um, all the way now up to people's diabetes and helping uh, manage the, the levels of the inflammation in the bloodstream and the blood glucose with ECP, and now even further athlete, athletic recovery. ECP seems to be um, a benefit to people who may be uh, less mobile for whatever reason. So for example, if you've got a, a really bad hip or really bad knee, you may not be able to exert yourself in order to get the benefits of exercise. And the main benefit of exercise is it helps with your circulation and then it, then it has a knock-on effect to all these other things. So if people aren't able to be as mobile, for those people, ECP could certainly give their circulation a bit of a boost. Everybody's probably been in hospital, whether it's an older person or whether it's a top athlete. Uh, so again, the area of the vision for the future is maybe looking at those populations and hopefully by enhancing their circulation and then treating their other conditions, it might be a bridge to helping them become more active and healthier.